three weeks post-op from my tummy tuck that was done um, in Beverly Hills by Dr. Edwin. So thankful to all of you guys who have just showed so much love on my blog and my Instagram account and my Facebook page. And I just want to let you know that my recovery has been fun getting to know all of you. And so please don't ever hesitate to ask um, any questions that you might have. Believe me, I was a stalker. So if you've been thinking about doing this, um, you know, I was a stalker too. So stalk away. I don't mind. Um, but I wanted to film this video just to kind of just show you and, and tell you a little bit about how my recovery is going so far and um, what I'm hoping to experience, uh, you know, as I continue to heal. So a couple cool things. Um, I shared my pictures with you on Instagram and um, a lot of you have asked, do you still have stretch marks? So I will show you that. And, um, and a lot of you have asked, would you do this knowing the recovery and it's been so rough would you do this over again and i would say absolutely yes 100 percent um now being at the three week mark i am up and out of the house um, driving myself and my kids around um, when the hubby's not around and um, grocery shopping and you know today we were out and about shopping for thanksgiving food and um i feel great I am down to one pain pill a day, which is good for me. And I know being three weeks post-op, you would think I should be off pain pills, but I'm not. Um, but I'm showering myself, shaving my legs myself, and um, feeling pretty independent. I cannot wait to work out, but at this point, I couldn't even imagine trying to work out right now. Um, so, with that being said, I haven't been totally great with my nutrition and um you know i still feel so i wanted to to try to explain this in writing but i guess it's easier in video you know when you go to a, a dinner or a buffet and you eat so much that it almost is like you can't breathe that's how that's how full you feel well my stomach feels like that all the time because the skin is pulled so tight um, so I can't eat a ton at a sitting. If I do, it is, it's painful to, to have my stomach get full. Um, I'm really, really swollen, really swollen still, and especially at night. Um, so that's really bad. And the, um, the nutrition hasn't been on point. So, um, my husband and I have decided that we are going to do a 21 day cleanse. Um, it's, gonna have good nutritious food so don't worry I'm not gonna starve myself my body needs good nutrition um, you know especially uh, just knowing that I worked really hard to lose the weight and get in the best shape of my life before my tummy tuck just because I got it cut off doesn't mean that I um, I want to ruin ruin it and I'm gonna still work my butt off so I'll be posting updates on that with my recipes and stuff so keep following along but anyways I won't take up too much of your time because I can tend to ra ra uh, ramble so okay I'm gonna show you my scar and my tummy and coffee baby cardio and coffee okay so I got to be a little careful because I don't have I always wear my um, my my wrap that I got from the doctor it's so much more comfortable when I do oh, don't worry I have a sports bra on I'm not gonna flash you but I just want to get as high as I possibly can so here's my new tummy and if you haven't followed my journey you would know that I got into the best shape of my life and um, got to be a fit mom before I did this. So I did not do this to lose weight. If you are thinking about doing a tummy tuck, try to get into um, the leanest and best shape that you possibly can. Um, but so I had a lot of loose, um, just stretch mark skin. So I'll come up a little bit closer so you can see my definition is starting to show up. I'm hoping to get a six pack back. I had a two pack before the surgery up here, so I'm hoping that'll be better. The lighting's a little bit 
bad. I'm sorry about that. But a lot of you in my pictures asked, do you still have stretch marks? Yes. I'm seeing, can you see them? I'll get closer. Right down here, I don't know if you can see them. I have stretch marks. The cool thing is, is those were all the way up here before. And so um, they end about here. Those are my stretch marks. And my belly button is still healing. It's super red, but it's really cute. So I'm actually very, very happy with that. So here's my new tummy. I love it, I love it, I love it. I still cannot stand up straight and I'm still extremely swollen down here. Um, so I am actually very anxious for this swelling to go away because this is ridiculous. Um, it's easier for me to actually bend over than it is to stand up straight. And you will see this is as far as I can stand up without it feeling like I'm going to rip everything inside. I did have uh, muscle repair, which means um, my muscles were separated all the way down here. So inside, she stitched up all of these muscles. So, um, so that's why. And then, of course, my skin is pulled so tight that I can't stand up. And you can see the amount of swelling. I'm just still really wide in here. Um, this is not the lean me that I'm used to. And now I will show you my, so you can see the swelling, oh Lord have mercy. So here is my three week incision. I don't want to get too low here, but I'll come up closer so you can see the incision. It's still so dark. It actually looks darker on camera than it does in real life. It goes all the way from hip to hip. And yeah, so that is my tummy so far. And um, you know, some of you had asked, oh my gosh, it's such a big scar. It, is that something that bothers you? I knew going in that it was going to be a big scar. I actually do scar pretty well. Um, my C-section scars, I had two C-sections, you couldn't see them at all. Um, so I'm hoping that the scar will lighten up, but I knew going in that I was gonna have this big scar. I didn't care because if I could get rid of the loose skin that looked like um, just a bunch of cellulite on my stomach with the stretch marks that were way, way up here, um, if I could get rid of that, then that's what mattered to me, just to tighten up my tummy and see it get flat again. So anyways, that's my update for now, and I will hopefully be back um, at my one month, which will be next Tuesday. So I will update you guys then, and then I have another doctor's appointment coming up after that. So keep watching, and I will keep sharing, and just post your questions, and I'm happy to answer them for you.